The project under Innovate UK, the CMDC4 round, is to develop, manufacture and install a 20 metre air wing unit onto a 124 metre general cargo vessel. Airwing is a wind propulsion system for commercial shipping. It reduces fuel consumption and carbon emissions by directly producing thrust to the vessel to reduce the engine load. Airwing is very unique in the way that it works. It comprises of a novel boundary layer flow technology over a double element wing sail to produce a very large amount of thrust from a very small and compact sized unit. This means that it has very low impact on the operation of the vessel, which is critical for getting these things installed on ships. The Airwing will be built in 10 metre sections to enable it to be shipped to any port in the world and enable easy installation to suit the vessel's location. We're using a combination of steel and composites in the manufacture of the Airwing in order to deal with the demanding conditions on offshore vessels. So we have some really strong collaborative partners, Carriagebrook Shipping, who are obviously helping with the vessel, and then the University of Bristol, who are helping with composites expertise. That in combination with KS Composites and A2O are helping us with the manufacturing and development. KS Composites are an innovative turnkey composite solutions provider. Now we were approached by A2O to be the manufacturers and partners with them on this exciting programme with GT Wings. Being involved in an Innovate UK project is specifically tailored around sustainability within transport perfectly ties in with the long-term objectives of KS Composites. The design phase is now completed, the patterns and tooling is well underway and we're expecting to start manufacturing parts in the next few months. The overall project now is aiming to try and get a full-scale demonstrator onto a vessel before the end of this year. The main benefit of this technology is for the shipping industry. Shipping accounts for up to 3% of global CO2 emissions and that's the equivalent of a country like Germany. Our technology directly retrofits onto existing vessels as well as new build vessels and can directly reduce the fuel consumption and carbon emissions of those vessels. Through the CMDC4 project, we will be conducting sea trials for at least two weeks on the vessel. We'll be producing a huge amount of data. This data will be useful for us to verify the technology works the way we believe it will. And then this will springboard into full-scale manufacture because we've got a huge amount of ship owners that are interested and waiting for this technology to help them in their decarbonisation efforts. The Innovate UK government funding has allowed us to really accelerate the programme, which should enable us to get a full-scale demonstrator on board a vessel before the end of this year. <laughs>